Aye. What is the most bisexual show on television? That's what I'm be talking about today in this video brought to you by my bisexual t-shirts, which are on Amazon. There's a link to them in the description below. I'll talk more about that when, at the end of the video. Until then, let's get down to some important stuff, which is, what is the most bisexual show on television? I know which show used to be the most bisexual show. That would be a show on the network stars called Black Sails. And if you have not checked this show out, it is so good and so bisexual. The main lead male character is bisexual. The main lead female character is bisexual. The second lead female character is bisexual. A third female character is bisexual. And then the show concluded in the most bisexual way possible. And it turns out, it turns out that although the show, you thought the show was about pirates, you thought the show was about, you know, swashbuckling and, and death and carnage and all that stuff, turns out at the end last episode you discover that what this show really was about was a bisexual love story. I kid you not. It's a great show. You can still check it out on like Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. And I recommend that you do. But the show has concluded. So now we need to figure out what's the new most bisexual show on television. And I have a couple of options. First of all, there's the show that won the Bisexual Representation Awards last year for TV show and also for supporting actress, which would be Orange is the New Black. So Orange is the New Black, Black has a the lead character, Piper, is bisexual. And then Lorna and Soso are also bisexual. But Orange is the New Black, as far as I know, has still never said the word bisexual. So could that be the most bisexual show on television? They haven't said the word bisexual. Or could it be... Jane the Virgin, because Jane the Virgin this season had a great story arc where the character Adam, which was Jane's boyfriend, came out as bisexual, saying the word bisexual, and they had an entire episode almost devoted to his bisexuality. But not just that. Then they made one of their main characters, Petra, discover her bisexuality because of Rosario Dawson. And I mean, come on who wouldn't discover their bisexuality because of Ro Rosario Dawson. But she did. And now that show uh, had a great bisexual episode and then now has a, a continuing bisexual storyline. Could that be the most bisexual show on television? Maybe not because Adam only lasted for six episodes and Petra, although a main character, isn't a lead character. So how about the TV show Madam Secretary? Madam Secretary has two supporting characters that are bisexual, but, but both of these supporting characters came out and had really, really great coming out moments where they both said the word bisexual. On top of that, one of the bisexual characters, uh, Kat Sandoval, is played by real life bisexual Sarah Ramirez. So could that be the most bisexual show on television because of all the great coming out and the great representation? Or could it be Legends of Tomorrow? Why Legends of Tomorrow? Because A, the main female character, uh, Sarah Lance, is bisexual. But not just that, but this season they introduced Constantine. And not only did they introduce Constantine and have them, you know, immediately Sarah Lance and Constantine have sex, the so two bisexual characters, you know? Not only that, but Constantine is a male character. So they have one female lead character and this season Constantine as a supporting character, but bisexual. By the way, next season it's been confirmed that Constantine will be back and this time he will be a lead character. So next season will be two lead characters, but this season it's one female lead character and one supporting male character. So is Legends of Tomorrow the most bisexual show on television? Or perhaps it's The Magicians, whereas Legends of Tomorrow has two bisexual characters, The Magicians has three. Quentin, who is a male lead character, Elliot, who started out as a supporting character, but is clearly now a lead character, or Margot, who is one of the ensemble, but probably more of a supporting character. 
But here's the thing with Marco. She's never actually had a supporting uh, bisexual storyline on the show. Margot's actress, the person the actress who plays Margot, stated in an interview that after her talking to the writers of the show, they all determined that Margot is absolutely bisexual. So on The Magicians, we have two male leads as bisexual and then one lead supporting female character is bisexual, but that female bisexual character has had no storylines for bisexuality. So could that be the lead, by, uh, lead, the most bisexual show on television? Or could it be my final option, which is Riverdale? Now, Riverdale is in the second season. In the first season of Riverdale, they had one passing reference to one of the characters who was clearly bisexual, and the character was Moose. In the very first episode of Riverdale, they had Moose, who they clearly said had a girlfriend, hooking up with Kevin, the gay character on the show. But in season one, they just made a reference to that then in the first episode, and then they made a letter, later reference later on, um, but then they kind of let it go. However, season two, they decided to kick up their bisexual storylines up a notch because not only did they bring Moose back and have a scene where he Moose ended up in the woods with his girlfriend and got attacked at that time, but they had a scene between Moose and Kevin where Moose made very clear that he was not straight and that he and Kevin, men, guys like him, had to do what they had to do to be who they were in a small town like Riverdale. So they had that storyline with Moose. But on top of that, they introduced Tony Topaz, who is an openly bisexual character from the comic books. So they introduced her in episode one of season two, and then they had a storyline with her first with Jughead and then her with another girl showing that she was clearly bisexual. But if you thought that's all Riverdale had this season, then you'd be sadly mistaken because after introducing Topaz, uh, Tony Topaz, it turns out it wasn't just like them bringing her on. They brought her on for a reason. And the reason they brought her on was so that they could have Cher um, Cher Cheryl Blossom come out as bisexual. And this week they had Cheryl Blossom not only come out as um, bisexual, that was before, but she got put into um, a conversion camp because of it. And then this week's episode, they had Tony Topaz come and rescue her from the conversion camp and then have the first bisexual kiss on the show. So there you have it. Not only do we have a new lead bisexual character on, on television in Riverdale, but we have a lot of options for the most bisexual show on television. So tell me, with the Bisexual Representation Awards coming up, what do you think is the most bisexual show on television? Is it one of the shows that I mentioned? Or is it one that I've missed? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video and like to support this channel, you can check out my t-shirts on Amazon. I have this shirt, which is still my most popular shirt, and I think the most popular bisexual shirt on Amazon. But I have this in short sleeve, I have it in long sleeve, I have this design in a sweatshirt, and I have it in hoodies. I have other bisexual designs. Um, I have my lapel pins that you can also pick up on Amazon, the link in the description below. And of course, I have all of my bisexual romances that you can also check out in the a link in the description below. If you like this video, you can click on that like button and you can subscribe because I do many videos on bisexual topic. I try to do them every Sunday, although I don't always succeed. Um, but if you'd like to know when a new video comes out, you could always subscribe and then click on the bell. And by clicking on the bell, you'll be telling YouTube that you'd like to know when a new video comes out. Until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friends. Stay cooler. <laughs> Bye.